you haven't seen me before, my name is Melinda Lyons, and I am the psychic in the Johnny vs. Amber documentary. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here if you're new and thank you so much for watching and coming back if you're a returning subscriber. Guys, I can't get over how weird that is to say. Um, and the reason why I'm bringing this up today is because I have not formally talked about it in a more professional manner. Uh, I've said a lot of F-bombs and I've said my true feelings, but I really want to get more into the psychic aspects about it and really give you my honest feedback and honestly because I think it's it's time that I that I really do address it. When I got notified being in the documentary, it truly baffled me. I was very 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 shocked. I was very speechless. I could not believe it. I was also very prepared that they're probably going to put me in a in a negative light. When I watched the documentary, I was still very shocked at the fact that I'm a part of something so historical. It's such a big moment for me. It's, it's a massive, massive opportunity. Whether people understand this or not, I, do I let that go to my head and think that I'm better than other people? And no, of course not. Why? Because I've worked for so many years and never have I truly gotten that level of recognition. And I never thought that I ever would. And I never really thought that I deserved it, but I knew that I earned it, if that makes sense. In a humble state though, I really want to say that even though um, I was very upset that I was a part of that documentary, I'm still very grateful about it at the same time because it opened so many doorways for me in a big way. One of the biggest reasons why it matters to me is because when people start to research me, they're going to see my level of credibility first. That's what everyone looks up when they look up a psychic. They're going to look up whether or not they're legit, whether or not they're um, credible, whether or not they're a scam artist, all these things. So the fact that I have this under my belt speaks volumes. It speaks so many volumes that it really gives me a chance to spread my wings psychically in a lot of ways. And, you know, a lot of people would say, well, your reaction to calling them out, like calling them the low life producers, that was not biting the hand that feeds me, if anyone thinks that. And the reason why I want to address that is because they didn't fucking feed me. I fed myself. <laughs> uh, they did nothing for me but as far as putting in my prediction. When I say they did nothing, what I mean is, is I didn't have to work for that. Okay, I didn't have to beg them to do that. They didn't have to do anything but just add that clip. And if anything, they just thought it would make me look crazy and it would make me, especially if Amber Heard was to win. I knew she wouldn't win though. Ever since finding out um, that Johnny won um, and my predictions were true and they came to pass, I will say that I have been astral projecting and meeting with Johnny Depp. Um, and it's going to be weird to say this because I'm... I don't think Johnny would remember these experiences with me um, because of the fact that he's he's got his own life, he's got his own concerns, and these experiences were with my spirit guides and we talked to him several times. I've had several meetings with him where I was able to really, you know, soul to soul just connect with him as a person, as a being. And he truly is remarkable, even in his spirit. He's, he's truly a remarkable person. And the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because it gave me some reassurance that I did the right thing talking about, about the reading and making that video. When I made that video about my prediction of, you know, people ask me, is Amber telling the truth? What do you think? Psychically, seriously, what do you think? 
I didn't want to make that video. I didn't want to talk about it because it's none of my business. And at the time, I really didn't know what to believe because everyone's story is different and I didn't want to judge the situation and just prejudge, oh, he's guilty or he's innocent or she's guilty, she's innocent. I didn't know. But the more I really dug deep into my higher self, my spirit guides even told me, what do you feel right off the bat? What do you feel? And I said, he's innocent. I feel like he's fucked up. He's done some stupid things. But I feel like what she's accusing him of is not true. And my guides assured me, you're right. He's absolutely innocent. And I listened to my spirit guides and they said, Melinda, if you do this video, you do realize that you will be under scrutiny. And I said, yes. And they said, but why would you want to do this? I said, yes, it would be clickbait. But then again, I doubt I'll get any clicks. And they said, okay, that's true. I said, but honestly, I'm just doing it because I feel like he deserves that truth to be spoken out. People are baiting him down. I feel like, you know, in the situation when everyone was making fun of Jim Carrey, with him coming out through his awakening moment, that was absolutely correct. Now people are saying he's telling the truth. Ironically, it doesn't surprise me. I felt like I just had to support Johnny in that situation. Now, if the roles were reversed and he was guilty, of course I would speak up for Amber Heard, but it was not that situation. I've had dreams of Johnny Depp. I've met with him in several different scenarios and circumstances. Um, I've even watched him at his home. I've, I admit I've actually projected and watched him at his home several times where he'd be painting or doing other things. But the thing was, is it's, it was only just to conversate with him, talk to him, get to know him. It always was such an honor even getting to know him as a person. He's very funny, actually. I made that video because I listened to my intuition. I made that video because psychically, I knew that it was a risk. I knew that people were gonna take that and, and spin it to whatever narrative they wanted. And especially because when I saw how Johnny was losing all of his job and all of his jobs, like even, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean and all these other opportunities, uh, Fantastic Beasts. I'm not a big fan of Fantastic Beasts. I only watched it because Johnny was in it. And I was so disheartened when the last one came out. It sucked. I'm sorry. I just fucking hated it. Me and my daughter, we were laughing. I was like, he's like the evil mailman. He's just not an evil guy. Johnny would have played it so much better. He just, he did. God, to meet Johnny Depp would be... I'm just saying that would be really fucking epic. <laughs> That'd be really cool. But to be able to meet him in the astral realm was just as cool. And... It was, it was definitely a huge gift and I'm just honored. I'm, I'm really grateful for that. I saw his truth. I saw the truth of what was bullshit and what was the truth. I saw the truth. And you know, that's the job of a psychic is not to make predictions on what's gonna happen next year with uh, like some presidents or, or some shit like that. Our job is to identify deception from lies. Our job is to guide people to understand, to listen to their intuition and to hear their higher self and to understand what it means to follow by that guiding force of wisdom. And I'm not anyone special. I work very hard. I I'm a, a self-published author, by the way. I'm excited that this book is coming out. Um, Psychic Defense Against Dark Forces is going to be released here on August 8th. And I'm really excited. It's going to be paperback and hardcover. So if you want to get yourself a copy, uh, it should be available here soon. By the time you watch, it'll probably be available. But um, I'm very proud of this book. It's once... In a blue moon, I was so, so intimidated to write this, to be fully honest with you. I had no idea where I was going to start, but I knew I wanted to write a book on how to protect people from demonic entities, evil forces, evil people, and even psychic vampires like Amber Heard. <laughs> how to identify the truth from deception? How to identify um, negative vibrational spirits? And more importantly, how to protect your aura, how to protect your chakras, how to protect yourself and also how to banish evil for good. 
And so if you're interested in that, um, it will be available on amazon.com and at my website at lastfrontiermedium.com. Some people go their whole life working so hard to make money. That's not why I work so hard. Granted, it would be nice to make more money. It would be nice to have my own house. Yes, I live with my dad, but you know what? At least I have a good relationship with my dad. Um, and I'm, I'm a single mom, but you know what? At least I have a good, healthy relationship with my daughter. And I, I, I work really hard and I do the best I can. That doesn't mean that, that I'm lesser than other people. That doesn't mean that I'm living off my dad. That doesn't mean that I'm not working every single day. I'm working constantly. And even right now, this is my job. And people that are producers that create that are creators that are influencers and manufacturers and builders and painters or writers or psychics you know whatever it is that your craft is it's not always going to make you lots of money i can't speak for other people but i don't do this for the money i do it for the glory and to me that's so much more beneficial that's so much more bountiful for me in my heart i know this sounds so cheesy but I don't do it for the money, I do it for the eternal glory. Because in my heart I know that this will be the most powerful thing that I could ever give to you and to other people, which is my abilities and my gift of how I help people. And I call it a gift because it's a gift to other people. Everyone's craft is a gift. Everyone's skill is a gift. When Johnny does paintings which are remarkable or he does concerts and you get to experience that, that's a gift. When you see people in movies or you see people dance or you listen to people sing, that's their gift because it's a gift to you to experience. It's their job to do. It's their work. That It's easy for them or maybe it's hard for them, but that to them is their gift because it's a gift to us to experience. So everyone has a gift to give, and this is mine. This documentary truly will go down in my heart forever as a historical moment for me. Also, it's weird is right before I made this video, I started having deja vus, and I don't know why. And whenever that happens with a video that I'm just about to make, that means something really good is gonna happen. So. And I feel like I was meant to make this and I feel like there's something else that's going to come of this in a very good way. I'm not an evil person. I'm not spiteful. I don't walk around thinking that I'm better than other people. Believe it or not, I do not have that attitude. You'd actually be surprised that I actually kind of have low self-esteem when it comes down to certain things about myself that I work on every day. But when it comes down to my skills as a medium, I'm extremely confident because I know what I can do and I know how well I can do it. And that's, to me, where humility lies, though, because I also know that that doesn't make me who I am. That just means that's what I could do. And I'm just really grateful to be acknowledged in that way. Whether that was their intention or not, I will always be grateful for that. I will always be so enormously thankful from the universe for that because that gave me a window of so many opportunities that I could ever imagine that I'm sure will, will give me more than I could ever think of. My dream someday is to just travel the world and obviously help people, but uh, obviously I can't do that. It's always been a dream of mine to do that, to go to people's homes, to find out the entities that people are dealing with. But of course, I can just do, all I can do right now is reaction videos, YouTube videos, and paranormal advisory, which I just started working on uh, answering paranormal emails. And uh, wow, I have over 300 of them now. I'm like blown away at that. And that may not be a lot to you guys, but that's a lot for me. And I'm like, oh my God, it's, it's a lot of emails that I'm already having to go through and I have to go through one at a time. It gets overwhelming, but then I'm just so grateful to know that there, there is some kind of hope in the universe, that the universe is seeing you and is giving you your just rewards. I mean, how many psychics are ever gonna be able to say that they were a part of a documentary 
of the biggest actor in the entire fucking world. Like, how many people can say that? And this is gonna sound weird, but in my heart, I almost feel like, what if this was, what if my reading and what if his jurors, they weren't supposed to watch anything on YouTube, but what if, what if they saw my reading? What if my reading my prediction impacted the outcome. I don't know, I can't take that responsibility. I'm just saying like a what if, that would be crazy, that would be wild. I just wanted to give you guys my two cents on this and just let it rest. I don't wanna keep talking about it all the time. I was very excited about it. It's a nice five minutes of fame and even then I didn't get five minutes of fame. I mean, people are not recognizing me in town or anything, thankfully, because I look like shit everywhere I go. All I'm saying here is that I'm very grateful and I just wanted to give you guys my two cents on this experience and on this discovering this information and I just want all of you to know that it's not going to change who I am as a person. It's not going to make me egotistical. Yes, um, I was very <laughs> angry at first, but when I really start self-reflecting, I always want to stay in a state of gratitude regardless. And also, it just feels really good knowing that as long as you stick to your heart and you listen to your heart and you listen to your truth, to the truth, and you follow it with faith, it will always come back to you in a good, in a good way. And I just... I just hope that you can take that as a piece of, of information from a person who really received something that I, I never thought I would. And I'm just really grateful for that. I'm definitely going to try to buy that online if they sell it on like Blu-ray or something. <laughs> so I have a copy of myself on a documentary with Johnny Depp. I just, that's, that's, I never thought in a billion years I would be a part of something like that. And guys, that's, that's bigger than I could ever imagine. That's so cool. That really is awesome. So I just feel like I just went down in history with one of the best actors in the entire world. I, I can't tell you how incredible that is. So I just want to end it there. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being my ride or die supporters through everything. And I just promise you it's not going to change who I am. I'm still Minda. <laughs> So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.